Hey everybody, I'm going to make a little bit of a disclaimer here. Um, in this video you see that I keep talking about sunflower peanut butter cookies. Well, it's not true. They're not sunflower peanut butter cookies. I just, I was using the peanut butter recipe, but I was actually using sunflower butter. As you can see here, this is from Trader Joe's, sunflower seed spread. And it's sunflower seeds it's like peanut butter, except it doesn't have any peanuts. So while I keep referencing uh, peanuts in the title and, and the mention of the cookies, there are no peanuts in this recipe. So I know some, some friends of mine that were my tasters were like, you can't even get the title right. Okay, whatever, who cares? The bottom line is this is good stuff. You can get it at Trader Joe's. It's $4.99 for a 16 ounce jar. It lasts a while. It's now March, and this actually expires in November of this year. So you've got a number, you know, six months or so. Let's see here, eight months. Can't do math today. I apologize. <laughs> hey, I tell people I'm pretty, not smart, and the pretty thing is pushing it. Anyway, uh, it's sunflower butter. Um, there's no peanuts in this cookie recipe. Just have a great time. Enjoy, make them, and uh, share them with your friends and family. Enjoy the video. Hey everybody, Mike from Taste Bud Orgasm here. Today, it's kind of a rainy day here in Palm Springs. It is raining, believe it or not. Um, yeah, ground's wet outside. Liquid sunshine, as some people would call it. Today we're going to be making um, peanut butter cookies. Now, my dogs love peanut butter. I love peanut butter, but I'm not going to give them certain peanut butters because a lot of them carry a chemical or an additive that could kill them. And if it's harmful to them, it's harmful to me. So anyway, uh, I'm going to try Trader Joe's Sunflower uh, Seed Peanut Butter. I mean, it definitely smells like sunflower seeds. It's actually really good peanut butter. I'm going to see what it, come, uh, what it tastes like in peanut butter cookies. So wish me luck as we do this. Uh, stay, you know, I've got a, um, uh, a group of people that are going to be my guinea pigs. I mean my tasters. So hang on. Let's get this recipe going. Get the camera moved around. You know, I do everything myself. One stick of butter at room temperature. Easy enough. That's out of the way. And then you add in uh, one cup of sugar. And it's, I took time to actually measure all this out. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna mix this together. I'll be right back. All right, so let's, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's see if you can hear me over the uh, mixer. It is uh, one cup of uh, sugar and one stick of butter. It's creamed together. Now I'm gonna add in my egg. I know, it's kind of funny. Uh, I always uh, crack my eggs into a different vessel. That way I make sure I don't get any eggshell in um, my item that I'm making. So that's gonna go in, we're gonna mix it up, and we're also gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla. And here we go. I know, that's such an exciting thing to watch. Get my spatula out. Come in here, scrape the sides down. Always remember, turn your mixer off when you have to scrape the sides because you don't want your spatula getting caught and thrown at you or anywhere. Or torn up. Now real quickly, take a look at that. And that's looking very good. I know it's like, why such a close up? Because I want to. All right, so give me a moment. I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients and I'll be right back. Or I'll actually measure them out. Um, anyway, hey, well, let's just do this anyway. Got to do, get a cup of peanut butter. Now, on a lot of these other peanut butters that you get, I don't know if you can see it, but you see it like a little bit of oil. That's the peanut oil that's up there. So just take a knife like I do, stir it really well, mix it in. It's not going to hurt anything. Now look at that. 
That is some good peanut butter. Well, sunflower peanut butter. So we'll get it going here in just a minute. Yeah, you hear Jake, Jake from State Farm. You know, he was indoor outdoor cat up north, but down here we have coyotes, so he can't go out. And I don't know if you can hear the trouncing of the feet of a dog. That's Charlie, who loves peanut butter. Um, but she's not going to get any of this. This is all going to be for human consumption. All right, so there's my cup. Get that out of the way. Open this up. Actually, I'm actually going to take this off just so I can get a better pour. Let's see, there we go. Jake's actually just saying, hurry up, we want some food. That cat loves to eat. And don't, don't dump your bowl over like I just about did. Alright, so... There we go. Get that out of the way. Alright, so... I'm going to mix this in until it's nice and creamy, which with this mix master won't take very long. Alright, that's, oh, that's looking good. You know what, it, it, it has the consistency of the peanut butter that you see in Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. In here I have a uh, half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. It's going to slowly incorporate these. That's my idea, slow. Now, come in. Oh man, this is smelling awesome. You can smell the peanut butter, but you also smell the sunflowers. So, and I have one cup of flour here. I'm going to be uh, adding in. I'll, I'm going to turn the film off and got them old. Turn the camera off until I get all this incorporated because it's their other boring process. So stand by. All right, folks, uh, through the miracle of technology, no, not really, no magic here. Uh, got everything mixed up. It looks like wet sand. It's pretty awesome. So we're going to mix this up about one inch balls, hands, all been cleaned. Um, it's really interesting where you used to making chocolate chip cookies, that these are, you know, you have to press them together. And uh, they'll get the telltale sign of um, the cross hatching from the fork in just a minute. Now I'm putting them on a uh, greased cookie sheet. They're going to bake anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes each. And then they will uh, come out and go on a rack to cool before anything else. Um, that's what you just want to make sure they cool properly. Don't try to put, um, use, let your cookie sheet uh, uh, cool before you put any more cookies on it. The worst thing to do is to, um, it's going to be a big cookie, is to put, um, cookie dough on a sheet, cookie sheet that's still nice and warm before it's ready to go into the oven. Uh, that's the last thing you want to do. So, um, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to be making these. Uh, don't need to watch any more of the process because it's boring and useless video. But when they come out of the oven, we'll be back. Thanks. See you then. Alright, so all the cookie dough is done. Now comes the fun part. You mash, you come back, do it the other way. It's going to be interesting to see how these come out. This is actually the first time I've ever made peanut butter cookies. Uh, my brother Greg, who unfortunately has passed away, used to make them all the time. And he always did a great job at it. So with this peanut butter, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Just put all that together. 
If anybody has made peanut butter cookies before and wants to send me a little video of how they do it, more than welcome to take a look at it and see if I can improve upon this recipe. Again, that's the great thing about cooking is that you find a recipe that you know will work, but then you retool it to make it your own. That's the great thing about cooking. It's something I've always said. Let's make this Mara our own, my own, your own, whatever you want to count it. All right, so those look pretty darn good. They're going to go in the oven for 12, about 12 to 15 minutes. I say 14, 13, 14 minutes. Stay tuned. All right, folks, so here we go. Here's the end result. Here are the cookies. They look a little... I don't know if they're going to even last coming off the uh, cookie sheet. And that's the great thing about baking. Sometimes things don't work. But we're going to let them cool. And then I'm going to go to my guinea pigs, I mean my tasters, to see what they think. I've got a couple people that I take stuff to to see what their opinion is. Actually, they're coming off better than expected. They're not the prettiest thing in the world, but you know what? Sometimes beauty is ugly and the flavor of the food is really good. Really there. Uh, I used to do glass work. Uh, both blown glass and fused glass. And my mantra was... The ugly, or the um, the imperfect becomes the perfect. So while these may not be your perfectly shaped cookies, it really doesn't matter. That one is. I think what I did is just made them too large. And uh, go from there. So, um, yeah, we will see what happens. I'm going to let these cool, and then I will go deliver and see what people think. So until we see each other, bye for now.